Hi guys, welcome to this video in the series Java Tutorials for Beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at arithmetic operations. So let's create a new class and we're going to call it Calculator. Let's go into that class and we will delete all this code and we'll create it from scratch. So public class calculator. We need a constructor, public calculator. We need two methods. The first one is public int get total. We need another one that's public void calculate. What this is basically going to do is we're going to have one method here that's called get total, which when we call it, it's going to return a variable total. Another one here, which is calculate, which is going to calculate two numbers and it's going to assign it to the our total variable. So our total variable is going to be declared here. It's going to be an instance variable as it's part of the class. So private int total. We're then going to instantiate it in the constructor, total equals zero. We're then going to return it in this get total method. So we're going to return total. And in the calculate method, we're going to say total equals something maybe like five multiplied by 10. So our get total method then, when we create the, when we create an instance of the class, total is initially going to be set to zero. So if we then call the get total method, it's going to return to us the value of total, which at this stage of just creating the class is zero. If we then call the calculate method, what the calculate method is going to do is it's going to do, it starts on the right hand side of this assignment statement and it says five multiplied by 10, which is 50. And then it's going to assign it to the left hand side, which is total. Let's see that in action. So let's close that right click compile and new calculator. We've now got it in the object bench, right click on that object. If we now get total, as we said, it's going to be zero because that's what we initialized it, the total variable as if we calculate, you don't see anything happen. But now if we get total again, we get the window pop up with the value of 50 instead of zero. That's basically all for that. I just wanted to explain that in the context of return values. So let's just get rid of the statement inside calculate. Let's get rid of the get total method altogether. Let's get rid of the statement inside the constructor and this field. So in the calculate method, what we're going to do now is say int first num equals 50 int second num equals 10 int total equals zero. So here we are initializing three variables, which are local variables, unlike the instance variable that we had up here, because that was part of the class, whereas these are part of the calculate method and only visible inside this method. So we've got int first num equals 50 and you can see that it's all on one line and note as well that we don't have private in front of local variables so local variables don't have access modifiers let's go down and we'll say um, total equals first num plus second num And we'll say, so this line is just basically going to say, take the value of first num, take the value of second num and add them together. So it's going to take 50 plus 10, it's going to add them together, then it's going to assign it to this left hand side, which is total, which we've initially set out to be zero. So let's now do another line and in, instead of before where we simply return the value into like a pop up window, what we're going to do now is print out the va print out the result into what's called the terminal window. So to do that, we need to say system with a capital S dot out dot print LN open curly brace total close brace and semicolon. So this is basically going to um, output 
our value of 60 to the terminal window. So if I can just run that now, compile, new calculator, so we're creating an instance of it again. We've got it here, right click on it, calculate, and you can see here that it outputs the value of 60 into this terminal window. Let's go back, let's try multiply, multiply. so first num times second num, which is, which is 500. As we said, it gets passed in here and it gets passed as a parameter to this, which as we said, prints out whatever's contained within these brackets into the terminal window. So compile, new calculator, calculate and it results is 500. Let's look at another example now with a divide. So to divide in Java, we use a forward slash. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna say 50 divided by 10, so if I compile that and let's run this, calculate, and the answer is 5. However, if we were to use something like 15 as our second number, which would result in a number that isn't a whole number, 15 divided by 50 is going to be something that obviously isn't a whole number, so let's see what the answer for that is. Compile, new calculator. Um, we've created an instance and we're calling the calculate method again, and the answer here is three. And obviously, the answer, if you were looking for a precise answer, is to a decimal place, it's not three. But what's happened here is because this is um, this represents integer division, so it will only divide in terms of an integer. So if it does go to decimal places, which in that case it would be 3.333 recurring, then what this does is simply cut off anything after the decimal place. Say we wanted it to be a more precise value, how would we do that? Well, because these are integers, as we said, the whole numbers, so we could change first num to be a double, because we said that double was a data type that we use for um, representing something with a decimal place in it. If we left it as it is now, it wouldn't work because we'd have we'd be dividing a double 50 with 15 an integer which is fat which is fine but we then we'd be assigning it to this left hand side here total which is an int so you can't go from a more precise value in this case a double to a less precise value an int because a, a double has got like a higher degree of accuracy. I, I can demonstrate that now. I'm not, so I'm, I won't change total, and you'll see now that it'll give us an error. So if I compile and it says um, possible loss of conversion from double to an int. So what we'd have to do here is say, instead of int for total, we'd say double. Let's go out of that, let's compile. Let's calculate it again and calculate it's got the full value that we needed. That's an example of that. Another operator is the modulus operator, which is a percent sign. So what this will do is, if I leave this as it is now, leave these numbers as they are, so first number's 15, second number's, uh, sorry, first number's 50, second number's 15. So what this will do is, it will say first number divided by the second number, and whatever the remainder is, that will be the answer. So in this case, 15 goes into 50 three times with a remainder of five. We can we can we can put 50 we can put 15 into 50 three times and then have a remainder of five. So the answer to this is going to be five. So total will be five. So let's just check that. Let's compile. Let's create a new calculator. Let's calculate it, and the answer is five. I'm just going to change these back to int again. And we can just do another quick example as well, actually. I'm going to get rid of the second number. So I'm going to leave the first number as 50. And just to demonstrate parameters in a method, I'm going to do public void calculate, but with a with a parameter in it. So we're going to say int. So it's expecting something of type int. And we're going to just say um, input number. So let's change also from modulus now. Let's just go back to plus. 
So what this is now going to do is say in first number, which is like our, fi our fixed value now 50, we want to say first number plus, instead of second number, because we've deleted it, we want to say input number. I'll actually change that to input num and just, just so it's clearer. So that's input num. So we're going to say now total is first name plus input num. And input num is a parameter which is going to be provided by the user. So let's demonstrate that. So if I compile, right click, create a new instance, and let's go to so now you can see here it's slightly different. It says void calculate int input num. So let's click on that and it's now brought up a new window. So it's asking for this number because it that's as part of the method it's saying I can run this method calculate, however I need an integer. I need a number to be um, as, as part of it. So let's just give it an arbitrary number. So let's say 40, okay? And the answer here is 90 because what we said is, if I just move that across, we just say, We've said our initial num first number here, 50. We passed in ourselves 40 into input num, which is here. So we've said 50 plus 40, we've assigned it to total, and we've printed out that total of 90. That's basically it for this video. I'm not going to go into any more detail, so thank you for watching. If you did find this video useful, then please leave a like and subscribe.